Good evening. Welcome to Inside the News. Tonight, we shall bring to you an individual who is making a passionate appeal to Ndenambra to help him financially to enable him carry out the surgery that would get him back on his feet. But this will come right after the hard news. I am Maureen Stone Image OK. And before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Anambra State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afam Obidike, says Governor Chukuma Saludo's administration is determined to reposition all government hospitals in the state. Dr. Bidike made this known when he inspected the Umweri General Hospital, Umweri, in Anambra East local government area. Chibuzo Okoye filed the report taken from here. After the inspection, the health commissioner who expressed displeasure over what he saw at the facility regretted that the hospital is being underutilized. The commissioner, who also frowned at the attitude of workers in the hospital, expressed concern that there was no single medical practitioner on duty when he visited, and made it clear that Soludo administration will not condone laziness, lazity, and indiscipline under any guise. The agenda is to ensure that uh, we have universal health coverage for every and and uh, the, the, to achieve that, our primary health care centers and general hospital must be functional. Uh, the agenda of our professor Charles Soluda, our dear governor, is to ensure that uh, and their number receive quality services in our general hospitals and primary health care center. So that uh, we at least the essence is to have it at a reduced rate and the quality. So uh, the assessment is poor, but. Uh, we are going to improve on it. Sure. The traditional ruler of Umweri, Igwe Ben Emeka, who thanked the commissioner for the visit, assured that the community will continue to support the government in making the hospital one of the best in Nigeria. Our people don't, don't patronize here again because of uh, coming here and you won't see anybody. If you manage to see somebody, they will tell you something that they might, might either refer you to somewhere else rather than uh, uh, treating you here. But I want to thank uh, His Excellency the governor of Anambra State, for the caliber of uh, uh, people that he employed in this uh, his administration, using young, energetic uh, people. On his part, the President General, Umweri General Assembly, Chief John Mechie, also thanked the Commissioner for the visit and urged workers at the hospital to be diligent. I feel so sad. We've got everything. We've got equipment. This is an example of um, what I call human failure. All the equipment is here. Better, here. Modern equipment are here. But the problem we're having is the human beings. We need doctors. We need nurses. We need staff. The young ones, I'm impressed. The youth coppers, I'm really impressed. These are the only people we have here. But we need more professionals. You know, we need electricity. We need power. We need, uh, we, need we need the place to be tied. Or the health commissioner later visited Ikenga Primary Health Centre, Umweru. The Anglican Bishop of Agatha Diocese, Right Reverend Samuel S. of Hall, has called for diplomatic approach to douse the rising agitations and tackling the insecurity bedeviling the southeast geopolitical zone. Bishop S. of Hall, who made his call at St. James Anglican Church, Nanka, Urumba North local government area, while presenting his charge to delegates attending the second session of the sixth synod of the diocese, maintained that the call has become necessary in order to achieve peace in Nigeria, especially in the southeast region. Correspondent Daniel Izigwe reports. Bishop Ezo for while urging the federal government to find lasting solutions to a series of agitations in different parts of the country, noted that diplomatic approaches will be more effective than violence and constant bloodshed in the name of agitation as is currently witnessed in the southeast. He appealed to the federal government to consider the release of prisoners of agitation as such step would quell increasing security tension in different parts of the country. The Anglican prelate also lamented the direction of national leadership in Nigeria, noting that the constant industrial action by Nigerian workers, including the current strike by the academic staff union of universities, ASU, summarizes the neglect, dwindling vision, and overall leadership deficiencies of the Nigerian state. Right Reverend Ezra for while commanding Governor Chukuma Soludo for already hitting the ground running, said that the quality of his work team, the cleaning up of furniture and environs and Sakamori in Obaru, the planned de declaration of state of emergency on Anambra Rose and three planting policies are pointers to better days ahead. The ASU warning strike has moved from the first one month to the second stage of two months and 
now the first stage of three months. That is one in strike. We can only hope and pray that the next administration will not take us backwards another 20 years where the present administration has taken us back to. The Chancellor of Agwata Diocese, Justice Peter Obiora, who moved the motion to accept the bishop's charge as a working document of the diocese, praised the depth of the message, which he said is fundamental to leadership discourse in Nigeria, especially at this time when the country is struggling with so many national challenges. Presidential address, which has been masterfully and beautifully rendered by our beloved bishop, the right reverend Dr. Samuel Chubu, the Ezzel to this august assemblage be accepted and received as the working instrument for the people of God gathered in this diocese throughout the period of this second session of the sixth synod. In an interview, the president of Agwata Council of Nice, Sir Isaiah Ezezika, and delegates to the Synod, Mrs. Constance Ume and Mr. Abuchimwazo, said that the issue of leadership, as much as it concerns the larger society, also affects the family, adding that just as the message touches public office holders, it must also reawaken the consciousness of parents to their responsibilities. One of the qualities of leadership is to be courageous, speak out. When you see something going wrong, speak, speak out. And that's the problem we have heard here, and because someone said that the greatest problem about this country is uh, hypocrisy. Very often, it's not what we preach that we do. Hypocrisy. That's the greatest problem we have in this country. I must say. The Archbishop, Ecclesiastical Province of Niger, and Bishop of Wakadasis, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, a former Dean of Church of Nigeria, Most Reverend Maxwell Anikwenwa, a former Archbishop of Niger Province, Most Reverend Godwin of Allah, and host of other bishops attended the Synod. The theme of the second session of the Sixth Synod of Agwata Anglican Diocese is Divine Principles of Transformation Leadership. From Nanka in Orumba North Local Government Area, Daniel Ezigwe, ABS News. Chief Eric Eze has emerged winner of the All Progressives Grand Alliance Abga primary election for Urumba North and South Federal Constituency in a keenly contested election. Held at the Women Development Centre Oka, Chief Eze polled 36 out of 108 votes cast by delegates to defeat three other aspirants. Correspondent Stella Ibuka reports that the exercise, which started with accreditation, had delegates vote after which counting commenced, followed by declaration of result. Result. The returning officer, Barrister Maxwell Chineme, commended the delegates and aspirants for the manner in which they conducted themselves during the exercise, which he described as peaceful and transparent. <laughs> As the winner, I Speaking to journalists shortly after he was declared winner, Chief Eze, who holds the traditional title of Ochiaga Orumba and who was visibly excited, dedicated his victory to God and the people of Orumba North and South Federal constituency. He described the exercise as credible, free and fair and commended the leadership of Abga under Chief Victor Oye for bringing sanity to the party and Governor Chupu Masoludo for his sterling leadership qualities in the state. Chief Eze expressed gratitude to the party for the opportunity to fly its flag and the delegates for believing in his ability, assuring them of quality representation, even as he extended olive branch to other aspirants, whom he described as great allies, urging them to support and unite with him to ensure Abgar's victory in the 2023 general elections. Not uh, my power, <laughs> not by my might, <laughs> but by the all might. I give him praise, I give him good. From the youths to the women on the street, the farmers, the widows, and again, there are a lot of things that Anambra State needs. So we shall work with the governor. Some of the stakeholders, including Honorable Promise Ike and Campaign Director General to Chief Eze, Honorable Jude Umonnakwe, congratulated him on his victory and assured him of their support. From the Women Development Center, I am Stella Ibuka reporting for ABS News. 
The vicar of St. Paul's Catholic Church, Abba, Reverend Father Jude Nebife, has said that the highest gift a man has is that which enables him or her to serve God and humanity. In his sermon at St. Anthony's Parish, Abba, Reverend Father Nebife charged Christians to discover their divine gifts and use them to serve God and humanity. He noted that envy is at the foundation of, the, of all evil bedeviling mankind, calling on people to rejoice in blessings and gifts of others in order to merit same. To further restore unity among Christians, Reverend Father Nebife called for more dedication in winning souls for Christ, noting that it is the will of God that his followers be united and live in peace for others to know and believe that they are truly of Christ. On challenges facing mankind, the priest reminded Christians that looking up to God will bring solutions, calling on them to emulate Christ, who looked up to God when faced with the challenges of feeding the multitude, reminding the faithful that God does not abandon anyone who trusts in him. As the, new, as the world marks Communication Day, the priest called on journalists and indeed all purveyors of information to stand by the truth at all times to help in renewing the face of the earth. Correspondent Joseph Ebocha reports that special prayers and offertory, offertory formed the high points. The Speaker of Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uche Okafo, has called on both the national and state legislators to enact laws that will guarantee adequate protection and training of the Nigerian children. In his goodwill message to mark the CS Children's Day celebration, Right Honorable Okafo enjoined parents to give proper home training and education to the children in order to get the best from them. The speaker, who described children as the pride of the family, advised parents to show equal love to their children and not to discriminate among them in anything. He charged children to study seriously and abstain from acts capable of marrying their future. Right Honorable Okafo, while commending Governor Chukuma Saludo for the genuine interest he has shown in the education and the state, especially the ongoing recruitment of teachers, and joined affluent citizens to contribute their quota towards securing a better future for the children. And that does it on the hard news. Insider news will be on right after the break. Don't go away. A cuckoo automated market. Rising from the rubbles of previous demolition, the present-day governor, His Excellency Governor Hope Uzodimma, decided to expand the Ekuku Automotive Market into a 2,000 capacity stalls. So are you a businessman or woman looking to expand your business to the South, South and South East? Across the Niger, look no further than Ekuku Automotive Market. Take stalls, warehouses, shops, annexes, branches, head office. The market offers state-of-the-art facilities such as fire service, police post, bank services, clinical facilities, pool parking lots, water supply, toilet facilities, good road network, good drainage system, electricity supply, standby generators, refuse management. Shop buyers shall be given a title document of certificate of shop ownership. Buy and sell with ease at Ekuku Automotive Market. Call the numbers on your screen and book a spot. Powered by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry on behalf of Imo State Government in partnership with Amanda Project Group. This is Insider News. Welcome to Insider News proper. There is a saying that when there is life, there is hope. But for Mr. Chukwebuka Okoye, this saying might not have so much meaning to him after he became physically challenged at the prime of his age, making it difficult for him to fend for himself. Chibuzo Obidike is standing by for details. <laughs> Since four years, can't get out of Okubana Bassa State. Who knows? 
some time ago, we brought you the story of an Enwuhu man, Mr. Chukwe Buka Okoye, a 33-year-old bachelor from Uwu Nebo village, Enwuhu, in Ejikoka local government area, who was until four years ago, was a successful businessman who dealt in generator sects in Bayasa State before he was born heavily in the course of doing his business. Though a help came, but it was not near to the money required for the surgery he needed for him to get back to his feet. For the purpose of refreshing our minds on the predicament of the young man, let's hear how it all started. <laughs> Acknowledging that donations from so well-meaning individuals over the years have enabled him to continue to see the light of the day, Mr. Okoye begged the state government, non-governmental organizations, and individuals to assist him go back to the hospital for a permanent solution which will cost about 2.3 million naira. <laughs> To support Mr. Chukwe Boka Okoye, kindly donate or reach him on phone number 081 or account number 0062-04-58-5800. Bank, Union Bank, name Okoye Buka Kingsley from Enuguhu in Injikoka local government area. Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS Insider News. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me, so says the Lord. Let us try in our own different ways and see how far we can go in lending him a helping hand. Remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS for many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV and log on to our website www.absradiotv.com. And that does it on Inside the News for today. I'll see you Sunday next. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone in Joke. Good night. <laughs>